Samsung, proud sponsor of Techbusters. When you look at Africa as a continent, we are blessed with sun. In fact, South Africa on average has two and a half thousand hours of sun per year. But do we utilize that properly? When you look at Africa as a continent with over a billion people, 600,000 of those people don't have access to electricity. And this is where this solution comes in very, very handy. It's all about solar and what you can do with solar. And Samsung today are going to be launching some very exciting initiatives to do with solar and in particular in the medical field. This is thanks to the sun and solar energy. Let's find out more about Samsung's digital village. Samsung Electronics Africa's Digital Village is a complete solar digital solution for both rural villages without power and urban neighborhoods with fluctuating electricity supply. By only using solutions that are renewable and environmentally friendly, the villages provide essential medical and educational solutions and could drastically improve access to vital services in remote parts of Africa. We're launching the concept of a true African digital village. The unit behind you is what we call a telemedical center. Now telemedicine is not new, but the way we've actually structured telemedicine in this particular center is it is very new. This unit here is solar driven and we can address now the shortage of doctors that we have in Africa in specifically rural areas. So the application that is on this particular unit will drive the, the nurse to do specific tests and once the uh, results have been put into the unit, she presses a button and this goes into the cloud. It gets stored in a central location and an alert or an email gets sent to the doctor that's on duty. This doctor can be in New York, can be in South Korea. And this doctor will take the information and look and analyze the results and send back information and it will be printed out to this particular telemedical center and given to that patient. If the doctor cannot analyze anything based on the tests that were done, the doctor can request to see the patient. And we will then set up a very simple video conference facility with that particular patient. We have VSAT connections, we have GSM connections, and we can put this unit up anywhere. Remember, no dependency on, on electricity through diesel generators because it's solar driven, and we've got the full video conference facility built into the unit as well. So, I'm busy getting tested in this solar medical center. And Samsung have introduced two different types, you know, they've introduced a clinic, a solar mobile clinic and a medical center. And essentially the, the clinics do the eye tests, the dentistry, and they can do basically audiometry, check your ears and all that kind of thing. The telemedical center is slightly different. You're able to hook into a doctor that could be a hundred of, hundreds of kilometers away and be able to diagnose a patient. Now this is fantastic when you consider that people in Africa literally have to walk hundreds of kilometers to get to the nearest hospital to get a good diagnosis. And this is really going to change the game and add incredible value to people's lives. It's not all about medical. The villages also include Samsung's solar-powered internet schools, mobile and independent classroom units geared at increasing accessibility to education and connectivity across Africa. Teachers have touchscreens at their disposal, which are powered by the solar panels installed on the roof. These internet schools have already been rolled out in 19 countries across the continent. We are with Mr. Mocheke Toka, who is uh, the principal of a school that's in an informal settlement uh, in Tembisa. Now, these kids didn't have access to the internet before. They never had any kind of digital uh, activities with regards to education before and they've installed the Samsung Digital School some two years ago and the results have been remarkable. Indeed, uh, uh, I mean, uh, in two years ago, uh, we were seated at around uh, 69% and last year we got or we attained 97.5. This is uh, the very first launch of the unit, so we will get a lot of interest, I'm sure. We have had initial interest and discussions from organizations which are uh, world organizations so these organizations have shown a huge amount of interest remember telemedicine is not new but this method of telemedicine is very new because it actually is designed to sit in rural areas so we we hope to get uh, the right level of uh, engagement from the ministries of health the samsung digital village is a reality when you look at the educational side of things that's already been launched and the additional medical stuff that's been launched with the uh, solar powered health center and uh, the solar powered telemedical center it's certainly going to change people's lives when you look at the remote areas that you're able to cover and this incredible technology and what it's able to do just using the sun's rays is quite mind-boggling.